Hello again, welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH, and I'm back for another accessible PC game video. Yeah, don't worry, guys. Uh, I have seen some of your comments and Twitter uh, posts. I'm glad you're giving some feedback. That's always great. Um, definitely am trying to cover a few more accessible games, be it for PC or iOS or whatever I can kind of get my hands on. This time, I'm uh, checking out a game that I hadn't actually heard about until... I uh, heard from a Twitter follower, and uh, thank you, by the way. And it's a game called Swamp. Now, this is a... <clears throat> it's an accessible first-person shooter survival kind of thing. And I've played with it a little bit late last week, and... I still haven't fully gotten the hang of it. Uh, I haven't played it online, which is where the vast majority of the game is played. Uh, but I'm actually still going through some of the single-player custom maps and um, the tutorial mission just to kind of get the feel for the controls, for the game. Uh, there's actually a lot there. So it is screen reader compatible. Now, it is self-voicing. But if you do have a supported screen reader like JAWS, Window Eyes, or NVDA, unfortunately, System Access, people just forget about that. People don't really support System Access or really tend to, which is unfortunate, because I really like that. But anyway, um, I do have NVDA running in the background right now, and we are at the Windows desktop, and hopefully in my recording software, I'm using the Bandicam software again, because Fraps just... I tried to record this once with Fraps, and it just... I launched the game, it just choked <laughs> completely, so this uh, if this does work, Bandicam is really starting to earn its keep, and I think I might have found a new, better program that I like as a cheaper alternative to Camtasia and the like. So, anyway, um, <clears throat> I do have NVDA running, and I actually just did happen to purchase the standalone Sappy 5 Voices for Windows, because that way I can use them either with the game or with NVDA or with whatever I want to, and as a, if I get more self-voicing games, a lot of people, screen reader users, are used to the Eloquence speech synthesizer. Uh, you've heard my thoughts about the Anna voice in the past. Like it, Some of the Windows voices, they're good, but especially Anna, she's just, she's not loud enough or she just you can't understand some of the like the syllables or like what she says sometimes um so there are times where i think eloquence would be really nice so let's go to our desktop here and we'll start up the game and i'll try to explain things hopefully the mix for the game isn't too too loud i'm not really going to lower it this time just because this is an audio game and i can kind of adjust some of the stuff in game if i need to crank the music or sound effects down, I can do that. So let's go to our desktop. Skype 11 of 20. Swamp 19 of 20. All right, we're on Swamp. I'll hit Enter. Welcome to Swamp, version 3. 5 by a Chrome. Graphics are enabled. Now, it says graphics are enabled. Now, this doesn't mean that if you are a low-vision gamer, you're going to get some rudimentary first-person graphics. Basically, if you've played... Uh, a game like Shades of Doom before, which is a really kind of a classic uh, first attempt at a first-person shooter that came out several years ago. Kind of cool game, by the way. Um, it kind of has this... It presents the game as like an overhead, very, very simple grid. Um, and I'll, you'll see what I mean <clears throat> when I go into the game here. But I am going to arrow up and down through this menu so you can kind of hear what's going on. Now, if I were to hit Tab it will cycle through the various speech modes. So it'll go from its speech to toggling between different synthesizers and, and or screen readers. And I have it currently set to NVDA, so we're going to leave it alone. But we're going to arrow down here. Multiplayer game. Multiplayer game. Now this is where the vast majority of people would normally go. You do need a account to participate in the multiplayer game and I believe if I remember right it's somewhere between two and three dollars per month which is you know if you compare it to a full MMO or something like that for uh, sighted players uh, one of the standard games it's much much cheaper you know they're like 10 to 15 bucks or better uh, two three bucks is not bad um, 
Not sure if I'll chip in and uh, support that or not. I mean, I have so many of the games to play. That's kind of the, the issue. It's not that I don't want to, but I don't know if I could devote as much time as I'd like to to this. Custom maps for practicing offline. All right, so there's a self-explanatory for uh, custom maps for practicing offline. Campaigns. Custom adventures created by others in the Swamp community. Okay, now we don't have very many here. There's only one that generally does much of anything that we want to do. Load previously saved campaigns. Load previously saved campaigns. Press enter to set your gamer account username. Okay, I don't want to do that. The assassin. Wait, set the one. Press enter to change it. Press now, button to adjust the pitch. I don't know. It says the assassin. I haven't quite figured out if that's supposed to be my username when I arrow down, because it said pre press enter above there. To do that, but I don't know what that really means. You have not yet agreed with the Swamp user agreement. Yeah, First, good for user agreement. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Then just press yet. enter on this menu choice to officially agree to the terms and conditions found in the file. No Shut sea monkey. Up. No sea monkey. Now I have no idea what this is. There's some sort of hardware. I looked at the documentation, and I don't know if it's like some other piece of audio equipment or something, but some kind of weird sea. I, I don't know what that is to be honest with you guys. Stereo sound test. Stereo sound test, so I can naturally... Left speaker. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> right hey, puppy. speaker. Yeah, or that. All right. There's your audio test. For tips on almost anything you would want to know, be sure to read the readme.html file found in your swamp directory. Yes, and that is something you are definitely going to need to read, because remember when I said when I was covering the, um, was it Psycho Strike video, um, that game was really simple, really straightforward. I would say this is probably one of the few games that I've really seen that just, there's a lot of complexity here, uh, and there is some depth to sink your teeth into here. So, Set sound output device. okay, we're going to leave that alone. Sound boost is off. Press enter to enable it. Your I, computer may prompt you for security settings when the file is double. I tried that, and, and I really didn't time. notice a difference, so I'm just going to leave it off. Graphics on. Zoomed in. Default colors. Press enter to change it. All right, so I get different contrast schemes. I can turn it off and on. I'm going to leave it on just because this is a video coverage and not just audio, so some people will, will have something interesting to look at. Mouse sensitivity set to highest. Press enter okay. to change it. And I, that is a setting that I did mouse change can be tricky because there are so many different designs out there. You can press a mouse button now and Swamp will tell you what code it is. Okay. Um, you put in over 29 minutes playing the prone Swamp. Okay. There's my time played. Exit the game. We don't want to do that. Multiplayer game. Custom maps. For practicing offline. Campaigns. Custom Let's go into campaigns, because I'll play community. through that and at least kind of show you what the game's like. Choose your campaign. All right, so we're going to we hit enter on that, and we'll choose my campaign. Sample.txt. Tutorial.txt. Tutorial is the one that we want. Now, I'm just going to let it play here, and then... Well, actually, let me give a quick intro. Um... So this is, like I said, it's a first-person, kind of a survival... A lot of these games that are coming out now, uh, which is kind of cool that this exists, because, you know, there's a lot of games on Steam right now where, like, it's a first-person set, and it's like a survival setting where you're dropped into some either urban or forest environment or wherever, wilderness thing, and you are <clears throat> tasked at surviving either wild animals or a zombie invasion like a day z sort of thing or any number of like i can't even remember all the survivalist sort of games out there so we're gonna .txt. tutorial .txt. tutorial .txt, and i'm just gonna let it talk here tutorial .txt you extract yourself from the twisted wreckage that was once your car what a disaster this is why you never drink and drive to move around, use the D and the keys to sidestep, S to go backwards, and the right mouse button to move forwards. You can also use the mouse to turn your character, as well as shift D and shift it to snap to the nearest of the eight cardinal directions. Press W to hear the direction you are currently facing. Try this now. Your house is about 20 steps south of you. Get your poor drunk ass to bed. Feel free to explore <laughs> the map. This is a good, all-American, crime-free neighborhood, and if you get lost, just restart the campaign and you'll be back here. If you forget what you are supposed to be doing, you can press Q at any time to hear your current objective. If you forget where you are, press V to hear the zones you occupy. Shift plus V will give your exact map coordinates. Swamp uses savvy speech by default. If you use the JAWS, Window Eyes, or NVDA screen readers, press the tab key until it announces the name of your screen reader, and Swamp will use it. If you are using Sappy, the page up and page down keys change the speaking rate. Game messages are often silenced prematurely by key presses or drowned out by sound effects. Use the left bracket and right bracket keys to review them. To review messages sent over the radio, use comma and dot period. Got that? I thought so. <laughs> so, 
now that you've had this massive uh, in, uh, massive speech dialogue dump uh, with about 1800 commands thrown at you uh, let's go and play um, no so uh, basically th so the, the main controls I'll kind of go through it again with you so you're using the mouse to turn left and right you don't really look up or down um, and I'm gonna turn up my headset a little bit because the actual some of the sound effects are a little low um, and here's the weird part. So if I'm, I'm sure I'm going to make this mistake at some point or another during this game. You use your WASD keys to move, except you don't, not quite. Your A, S, and D keys are left back and right, respectively, as they normally are. However, they decided to move the walk forward button to holding down the right mouse button which if you're not used to playing first person shooters or first person games in general or action games in general with the keyboard and mouse on a computer that may not throw you off too much but for me uh, I often find myself like if I hit E it turns on this goofy uh, e. radar which we'll get to in a second um and I'll hit it or hold it, and I'm like, ah, oh, crap, that's the wrong key. So, <clears throat> and if I hit my left, left mouse button, it hasn't told me this yet, but I've got a melee weapon right now. Uh, so, as I said earlier, reading the manual is going to be very, very important. Um, you know, like I said, I, I remember seeing some of these other games like, oh, they're so simple. You just have, you know, up, down, left, and right, maybe one other button. Uh, this one, you're going to have to be using a lot of your keyboard, a lot of your keyboard to actually do things, uh, just to get information. So, visually, we have this black circle that is representing us, and if you can see the screen, we've got a um, black line indicating the direction that I'm pointing if you are low vision. So, if you can see that right now, it's kind of uh, northwest or up and to the left, if I turn to the right there we go and you can kind of hear the fire and the car horn in a different direction um, and now you notice too it kind of looks like you got the little kind of uh, sidewalk cross looking thing so to my left here is a big old street that's what that's supposed to represent again very 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 simple graphics like almost like like an MS paint sort of really basic um, graphics so if I walk forward there are several different houses in this neighborhood to find the specific one you're looking for use the shifted number O to activate a beacon for instance shift zero is your house press B to hear the location and distance of the selected beacon relative to you right so remember before if I hit Q you just can't deal with this now maybe in the morning yes sleep first panic later find your way home and collapse into bed all right, so we're drunk, and uh, we had a car crash or something, and we're trying to get home. So we are going to uh, actually, so you notice that we're in the middle of like a cross right now. This um, is basically, I'm, it's kind of cool because it tells you when you're on the grass, when you're on the sidewalk, what things are next to you. But like we're kind of in like the T, the cross intersection uh, you know, when you get to a corner, you know, you've got your little curb cuts on either corner and then you have the sidewalk, you know, going down each side. But we're going to cross the street because we're going to go south and we are, let's go and let's activate our home beacon, shall we? Track in your house. Go southeast 21 tiles. All right. So it's tile based and it says go south. If I want to find out what direction I'm going. Oh, wrong button. E. Uh... V, I think. Current location is sidewalk. Okay. South, south. Yeah, see? South. W, that's what happens. I, I, I just did it now. They're, they're the very mistake that I told you about. I hit W, and it tells me what direction I'm going Parkside in. Parkside Road. Sidewalk. So, it said Parkside Road, and now we're on sidewalk again. So, I literally crossed the street got a puddle here now you notice that the on the left hand side you hear the beeping and it's getting faster
Okay. Southern map border. Now, southern map border, that tells us that that little push block noise, um, we're at the southern border. So let's cross this. We're going to head back up again. Sidewalk. Where is my house? <laughs> Actually, that is a good question. Where the hell is my house? Thomas Street. Sidewalk. Okay, Leaving so sidewalk. we're back. Sidewalk. Leaving sidewalk. Oh, okay, hold on. So, now, the one thing that I've kind of gotten thrown off, and if you're going to play this game via audio, which you really have to, because... Honestly, to me, the visuals almost make it more confusing because you're looking at it from a top-down perspective. And in a way, like what you hear in your headset doesn't quite gel with like what you're looking at on the screen. At least for me, it kind of throws me for a loop a little bit. Let's... Uh, window. Okay, so window. I think we're by my house now because it's going fast. Oh, ran into a wall. <laughs> nice. Where the heck is my door? Southern map border. Leaving southern map border. Window. Okay. So there's a window. Now, here's another thing. Now, I, I mentioned radar. Leaving window. If I hit E... Now, that, that first noise, that... That's your... That tells you that there's open space. On the right-hand side, when, as it pans over to the right, you hear a different beep. That tells you that there's something solid to the right. Okay? We're going to turn that See. off because it's obnoxious. And I, I personally, for the most part, I find that the uh, the E, which is kind of your left, forward, right kind of pan, a little bit crazy, uh, a little bit I don't do super well with it. So let's say that I wanted to find out what was to my left. I can hit my left arrow. Empty space. Let's hit up arrow. Okay, so it sounds like on my left, I'm good, but on my right, I've got something. On my right hand, if I hit the right arrow, solid. Er er there's something just to the right of me. So if I sidestep, sidewalk. You hear the open space, but you can also kind of hear as I get closer. Leaving sidewalk. You hear that getting louder, so I know... Uh, there we go. And if I hit down, I can hear what's behind me. Again, to my left, I've got open space. To my right, I've got ah. this presuming house. And that noise is just me hitting the space bar to cancel all radars. Let's get rid of this other beeping and see if we can't Windows. find our front door, Windows. shall we? Alright, we are going to go to the right. I am cheating a little bit and using my vision a little bit here and there just to kind of speed the video along. Sidewalk. Okay, so sidewalk. Leaving sidewalk. All right, so I need to go back. Sidewalk. Looks like this might be the sidewalk to my front door, so let's turn to the right. And that's becoming centered. And I'm going to get rid of that radar. Shut up. Oh. Okay, so tracking is off. So let's mouse forward here and see what we got living here. Room. All right, I'm in my living room. All right, we found our drunk ass home. Here, what's right. around you? Use the radar. This is activated with the arrow keys. Shifting the arrow keys makes the radar more long range. E gives you a 360 degree view. So that kind of goes over a little bit more of what I just went over with you guys by the side of our house. Now, interestingly, you hear... I hear static from a TV, but I, you know, looking at the screen and even walking around listening, I can't find, like, there is no, window. there's my window, but I've ran into the wall. Living room. It still sounds like it's to my left. Okay, it sounds like it's right in front of me now. I don't know where my TV is, because it sounds like it's right back over there somewhere, but it's not there. If I go up, sofa. there's a sofa. Living room. Now let me activate my up radar again, because I want to show you something else. 
So, you hear three sounds. Northwest. Oops. All right, well. So, I have furniture in front of me, which is... There are certain things like windows and like certain furniture that you that are treated like objects like you can't walk through them but you can shoot around them if you have a weapon. So, you know, like you could shoot over a coffee table or a couch. Um, but you couldn't shoot obviously through a wall. So, let's see over to the right here. Let's Kitchen. walk over. Okay, change we're... weapons. Use the number O to fire. Hit the left mouse button. Press R to load a clip into the weapon you've chosen. You can do this at any time without losing ammunition. Press Z to hear the amount of ammo you have. Okay. So if I hit Z, axe equipped. I have my axe, so I don't have a gun just yet. We are in the kitchen. Sounds like I hear a refrigerator. So while you hear all these kind of ambient noises, you don't necessarily see them. And it might be just to make the navigation of the environments a little bit easier to get around. I mean, the, the, even in a re, you know, even like in a regular, um, you know, consumer game, um, you know, there's a balance between adding every little bit of realism versus like fun. And you know, if you're trying to navigate through a room and you know you can't see just like you can't in real life, um, you know, being able to, you know, having to navigate around every little chair and stand and table and couch and chair and whatever would probably get really tedious. So you get some of the ambient noise, but it looks like you don't necessarily have all of the environmental Living objects room. in there. So like if they're important to the story, you might have them. But, yeah, so let's go down into, I think, our bedroom's over here. The radar makes three sounds. The highest pitch one indicates open space. The bleep indicates a solid wall. The single note beep indicates an obstacle, such as cars, windows, bridge railings, trees, tables, and the like. Obstacles can be shot through. Walls cannot. So, that's just what I said earlier. So, I'm just getting a little bit ahead of the game there. We are in the bedroom. Bed. Whoa, what was that? That sounded like one of your windows smashing. Nervously, you take your handgun out of the bureau and pocket two clips, just in case. All right, so if I hit one... Axe equipped. Lock 17 equipped. It has zero of 17 rounds, and you have 34 rounds that's of it. 9mm ammo in reserve. R to reload. That's a pretty common first-person shooter scheme. I hear a Zambi. Zambi. Bedroom. Right I'm going to go slow, because... Come on. I did hear you just a second ago. Where are you, buddy? Living room. Come on. I know you're here. Why the hell are you being so quiet? Come on. I know they're out here. I'm just gonna. I know I'm gonna get jumped. And they are, they do notice sound, so like if you're walking over like a metal or wood surface, walking slow might be in your best interest. I heard, uh-oh, I hear footsteps. Those are not me. Sounds like he's on grass, so it sounds like he's outside. Let's go over to the kitchen. Kitchen. Uh... Window. Okay, kitchen. that window's safe. Living room. What the heck? Which one did he break Lighting open? Room. Uh oh, I hear a zombie. Body. Uh oh. He's in here. Center the view. Shit, where is he? That got really loud. See now, I find. Part of the reason I haven't really tried to go online and register and stuff is I have not really... For some reason, like on the iOS games, I can center the view pretty well, or the audio. And that might be because it uses that binaural sound. Whereas this is more just straight-up stereo. And for some reason, it seems like I'm having a little bit harder time 
I can hear the left and right, but it's hard for me to discern which way Family room. is... Uh-oh. That can't be good. You know, w whether they're behind me or in front of me. Okay, there's a broken window over here. I know I'm going really broken slow, window. but... Okay, I'm walking on shattered glass. That's nice. We're going to sneak outside. Ow. Okay, you're on the grass. Leaving broken window. Okay, we gotta... Come on, zombie. I hear you walking, running around. That is a fast zombie. He's not one of those slow ones. He's a runner, this one. I don't hear... I don't... No. Uh-oh. I think I pissed him off. Well, maybe not. I thought if I shot where he's centered, I might hit him, but I have no idea where he is. Looks like water. Uh-oh. I'm scared to move forward. Shit. Uh... I don't know, we're just gonna go. Screw it. If I die, I die. Running time. Ow. Ran into my house, I think. Like I said, I am cheating a little bit and using the rudimentary graphics to kind of move things along. Now I'm in front of my front door again. What am I supposed to be doing right now? It sounds like someone's breaking into your house. Better go investigate. All right, so it still wants me to kill some zombies, I think. Where the hell are you, buddy? Zombie. Leaving sidewalk. Parkside Road. All right, we're going to stand in the middle of Parkside Road. Uh. Leaving Parkside Road. Sidewalk. Leaving sidewalk. I know there's zombies around here somewhere. Sidewalk. Eastern map border. Uh-oh. Okay. Sidewalk. Leaving sidewalk. Parkside Road. Leaving Parkside Road. I sidewalk. hear him. Usually I get jumped right inside of my house. I'm surprised I sidewalk. haven't really encountered somebody. Driveway. Alright, I'm in somebody's driveway. Some spots have special events that trigger when you press enter. Here, for instance. Amber's car appears to be in perfect working order, but the keys are missing. And you don't know if you hot wiring. Car key is in your house. Ow! Enter here to leave. Driveway. Sidewalk. Driveway. Ow, oh, okay, now that I'm hurt, some big old, sounds like some big bastard came after me now. So let's see use our left and right brackets here, because I didn't hear what he said. Sidewalk, two, driveway, three. Some spots have special events that trigger when you press enter. Here, for instance, Amber's car appears to be in perfect working order, but the keys are missing, and you don't know a thing about hot wiring. Maybe your car keys are somewhere in her house. When you find them, press enter here to leave dot dot four. Okay. It sounds like someone's breaking into your house. Better go investigate. So I hit Q again. Um, so it looks like we found somebody's house. And we found a garage. garage. Abandoned car. Garage. That is this right Amber's way. car. So this must be Amber's house that we're near. And apparently this is how we're eventually going to leave. Now I happen to know because I've played this earlier. That I can first get find another character, sidewalk. but I'm Leaving trying to sidewalk. trigger that event. Parkside road. I think I have to go Leaving near my road. house. Sidewalk. Leaving sidewalk. And... Ow. Ran in... Ow. Again. <laughs> so... Window. I'm trying to purposely be loud this time. Let's see, I think it's X. 67. 7% health. You are not wearing any armor. Ouch. I have... Sh wait, what? Sidewalk. I have Leaving really sidewalk. bad health. 67. 7% health. You are oh, not wearing any armor. 67.7% health. Okay. Well. Window. Leaving window. I don't know. It still says... See, that's one thing that I'm not quite sure of is... I've sidewalk. had this happen Leaving once sidewalk. when I played Thomas earlier Street. before. Abandoned truck. Thomas Street. Uh, where, like, I know because I've played this like probably for about 15-20 minutes twice now before starting to record, and Leaving I've gotten it where sidewalk. the events don't always seem to trigger right, and so you just kind of wander around until it does. 
Parkside Road. Uh-oh. I hear... Uh... Make sure I'm reloaded here. I hear zombie. I thought I heard a growl. Abandoned car. Parkside Road. Sidewalk. I think I need to find... Uh-oh. Zambi. Leaving sidewalk. Sidewalk. Okay, he's over to my right. Leaving sidewalk. He's on some broken glass. Where are you, buddy? It's on. Leaving Thomas Street. Gun sidewalk. you down. Actually, let's Accident. smash him with my axe. Leaving sidewalk. Come here, buddy. Oh, that sounds reassuring. What the? Uh oh. Now I hear this other beeping. I don't know what that means. Oh man. He's got to be right there. Where the hell is he? He sounds like he's right up in my grill. See, that's the thing. Is I'm I'm not sure. What? Broken window. There are times where I really can't tell, like if somebody's behind me or living room. How far away they are. I don't know if it's just the way the audio is working in this game. We're in some dude's house now, I think. Hallway. I'm trying to hunt down this big old zombie that's growling at me. Family room. Maybe I can find some other... Where am no. I? East. It sounds like someone's breaking into your house. Better go investigate. Well, I'm in somebody else's house, but I'm just trying to see if there's any other... Hallway. I heard a phone back there, but... Ow. Ran into the wall. Bedroom. Uh oh. Uh. Hallway. Broken window. Leaving broken this window. This should give you a good idea, though. Okay, hold on. Okay, I got my axe out still. Sidewalk. Where are you, buddy? You are going down. You sound really vicious, but. Sidewalk. I can't. Leaving sidewalk. I'm just trying to. Sidewalk. I mean, I could try Leaving to leave, sidewalk. but. I want to try to... Window. Leaving window. Yeah, no, I don't know what... Window. Oh, wait, I wonder Leaving if window. that's like some kind of pickup that I can get. Let me try to go through this window again. Broken window. Leaving broken Ow. window. Dining room. Broken window. Dining room. Living room. Sofa. These should be useful if you can find her car. It's probably parked in her garage. Oh, okay, so I'm, okay, I'm right by that Sofa. one Living room. person's house. Okay, so I got her car Dining keys room. now. So if I wanted Living to, room. I could broken actually, window. I think, Leaving broken escape. Window. Sidewalk. Unless some other objective, unless it'll prevent me from doing that. So maybe, depending on, like, like I said, I know there are other characters in here. Let's just wander around the map a little bit more. See if I can try to find... Northern map border. All right. Northern sidewalk. map border. Let's go to the left here. Leaving sidewalk. Thomas Street. Leaving Thomas Street. Sidewalk. Leaving sidewalk. Okay. Window. I got a window. Leaving window. Sidewalk. So if I was, like I said, if I wasn't um, using my vision, what I would more than likely do, especially like if I found a sidewalk and then I was on the grass again, I would probably use my left and right arrow keys. To kind of tell me, like, or what's in front of me, or what's to the side of me, um, I would probably do that a lot more. Living room. But like you I said, tell humans from zombies by pressing shift plus enter to track human players with a beep. To find the specific oh. player, use the player tracker. Select the player with O and P, then press I to hear a beep at that player's location. Press shift plus I to play the beep continuously. If that wild mutt hurts you, pressing X will tell you how much. Wearing armor reduces the damage you take from enemies. If your health drops below 70%, your items might break whenever you are attacked. Okay, well, actually, there was a couple things in there that I didn't know. So, like I said, this game, it's really funny because, like, a standard game like this, um, there would be some key complexity to it. But I think what would happen is because you can see in a regular AAA game or even like an indie game, like a visual-based video game, you can see when you're walking up to something what you're going to interact with <clears throat> so they kind of get by with a simpler control scheme even though you use a lot of buttons you may have just 
one interact key and you know if you're if you're next to a door you'll open it if you're next to a person you'll talk that kind of thing so in this game like there are tons of keys like I said you're using regular letter and number keys you're using shift and the number uh, letters and numbers uh, your arrows there's all kinds Family of stuff room. see now I think this is the house ow this is the house, would you stop it, where I usually Bedroom. would find this other guy, if I remember right, but Family room. the problem is, is I still haven't, I've still triggered that other event. Family room. Find Amber's car and get the heck out of Dodge. Okay, well actually now I got a different objective because Bedroom. I got the keys. Um, but I still, like I like said before, there was a guy that you Leaving heard him window. calling out Sidewalk. to you, and then you Leaving got the Sidewalk. mission that you were supposed to go find Sidewalk. and help him. So, I'm, I mean, I, I haven't, I've only shot one zombie Parkside so Road. far. I'm trying to find... It's really weird Abandoned when I'm Park. playing Parkside Road. this. Leaving Parkside Road. Sidewalk. That... Thomas Street. Abandoned car. Ow. Thomas Street. Sidewalk. Okay. Leaving sidewalk. Sidewalk. Leaving sidewalk. Sidewalk. Leaving Normally sidewalk. Normally there's like sidewalk. three or four zombies right away. It's being just either really generous or Leaving sidewalk. Park really side road. stupid. Okay, I hear ya. I hear ya. Come at me, bud. Let's get some action here. I hear ya. Oh, that can't be good. Oh boy. Man. That sounds so freaking vicious. That guy. That big old. Abandoned that car. is a one mean puppy dog there. Yeah, if you could just. Parkside Road. Abandoned car. Parkside Road. Okay, I'm by a car. Eastern map border. Parkside Road. I have Leaving no freaking Parkside clue Road. where this guy sidewalk. is. Leaving sidewalk. Let's see if I can try to find. Sidewalk. Ah! Uh oh Holy crap, that always kind of scared me a little bit. Just be a little... Growl. Car road. Where they? Okay, I hear him by water. Road. Sidewalk. Where Leaving was sidewalk. there? Oh, oh god! Oh god! Hello. Hello. Ow! Does anyone hear me? Just say hello if you do. The ah! Kill it! The best thing to do with friends is to do your bidding. Press F to open the voice command menu, then W to say hello. To get your ally to follow you, use F then S. To make Charlie wait, press F and then C. There are many more commands oh, you can use, but not all of them are useful all of the time. <laughs> yeah, well, I couldn't really listen Eastern to you because I was Leaving getting mauled. What is my health now? 56% health. You are not wearing any armor. <sighs> yeah, I don't have any armor. Southern map border. Alright, so... Smack into Leaving the house. map border. Yeah, well, now we've got... We said we had two enemies right in a row there. Ah! Hey, how you doing? <laughs> okay. Whew. Since nobody's shooting at me, I'm trying to use melee so I can save ammo. Sidewalk. I'm just hoping that I don't get bit. Because I don't have any med kits either. So, while I'm going to try to find this Charlie guy, um, I'm not going to be able to show you the multiplayer because I don't have a registered account. But just know that even what I'm showing you is just scratching the surface. Like I said, it mentioned armor. It mentioned other people. Like, when you're online, you're going to have... It's kind of like, you know, a regular instanced nice. MMO. You know, a math massively Parkside multiplayer Road. online game where, you know, it's a survival thing where you're going to have other people. You can party up and track with people. Um, there are different, you know, there are different types of women, uh, weapons, you know, pistols, shotguns, uh... All kinds of other things I'm not exactly sure about. There's all different types of armor that you can either buy or equip uh, if you find it in the environment. Okay, I hear. See, now that I probably triggered this other person, now I'm probably going to get a whole bunch more zombies. Broken window. Bedroom. Oh boy. Oh dude, somebody shot. Oh cool, I think my buddy shot him. Nice. Where are you, buddy? Uh. With me. So I can also give commands. So if I hit F. With me. 
or F. So I hit F and then S. If I hit A, F S and then A. Understood. Um, so I can hit. So again, there's so many commands. Like I said, I, I barely remember. I don't remember them all so far myself because there are just so freaking many. Um, and it's not just like, oh, you hit this for this, you hit this key for that. There, you know, there are layered commands. So, like I said, this whole F menu opens up a whole other bit of choices. Uh, if I remember correctly, I don't remember how to trigger. <laughs> ah! Okay, thank you, sir. <laughs> I don't remember how to track. I'm just going on memory because I'm trying to remember where I saw him before. Where did I see this Charlie guy? Living this room. is going to be a Family longer room. video. Living room. Uh -oh. window. Living room. Okay. You know what? I'm cheating. I, I see a zombie on the other side of this door. Come here, chicky. Hey, buddy. <coughs> uh, hey, I hit you first. I should have got my gun and popped you. Although with a pistol, it usually does take more Sofa. than one. Uh, Living room. It does take more than one shot, usually. Now, if I had a shotgun... Ow. Hit the wall. Sidewalk. Leave uh, sidewalk. let's go. Sidewalk. Uh, okay, Leave I'm sidewalk. already up higher. Sidewalk. Leave sidewalk. Sidewalk. I don't know where to find this guy. You know what? I might just actually go... Leave, sidewalk. leave this guy and get out of Dodge. Go find Charlie, the only survivor. I don't know where you are, broken Charles. Window. Leave broken window. Bedroom. Charlie! Charlie! Okay, I hear a zombie over there. Oh, how do I get over there? Uh, he's over to my Bad left. Room. Hallway. Ooh. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Family room. Got 17 equipped. That has 17 of 17 rounds. And you have 9 rounds of 9mm ammo in reserve. Hallway. Yeah! Take that, bud. Bedroom. Okay, so we've killed it. We got a little bit more action for you guys here. I killed a couple more zombies. Some with melee, a couple with my gun. Oh, I'm not really doing really good on health. 42. 3% health. 42. 3% health. Family no room. armor. Well, Charles, I have no idea where the heck you sofa. are, so Family you know room. what? Oh, ran into the sofa. All right. Bedroom. Let's cut through this dude's broken, broken window. window again. Leaving broken window. Sidewalk. Let's try to see if we can find that Thomas lady's car. Abandoned car. Ow. Leaving abandoned car. Not that sidewalk. car. Leaving sidewalk. Because I got her keys. Dining room. I think this kitchen. was... Oh, okay. Kitchen. How you doing? Ah, uh, come here. What'd you get? Ow. I'm running into stuff. Let's see. Where should I Dining go? Dining room. Living room. Now, again, I would be even going slower if I was using only my hearing. I'm kind of speeding along the video because we're already going long as it is. Um, but, you know, like I said, just close your eyes and listen Hallway. to the audio, the soundscape. Um, really to get an idea. Okay, bathroom Hallway. with a leaky faucet. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, we got another zombie here somewhere. Huh, let's see. Oh, huh. Not what I meant. Hallway. Zambi. Zambi. I shot you. You Bed. suck. Bed. Bed. Can I use the bed? No, I'm wasting ammo. Let's switch back to our axe equipped. Bedroom. Axe. Seeing as how I'm getting hurt all the time Hallway. anyway. Bedroom. So yeah, I mean, I'm not even ready to go online yet. Like I said, I'm still... I can kind of cheat and use Hallway. the vision I have in this with these rudimentary gla windows. graphics, but even broken windows. I have played this like with no vision at all, and I've gotten mildly successful. Driveway. But for some reason, I think, like I said, because there's not the stereo or the binaural sound I, I have a harder time and maybe it's just with the headset i'm using i don't know maybe i can try it with another computer or something but i'm just not able to really tell like if it's somebody that's f bef in front of me or behind me or whatever Garage. abandoned car so let's uh Like a 
that person until you come across a group of survivors. Now you are safe, in the safe zone. A pair of guards greet you from behind mounted machine guns. You don't see any zombies getting through there, and so safety your weapons. The safe zone heals you from damage and cleans your clothes if needed. More importantly, you may buy and sell equipment or upgrade your character here. Press enter to access the safe zone menu. Quests give you an item to search for on the map that you can then donate for a sizable reward. For instance, the car keys are considered a quest item. Try donating them now. Now that you have leveled up, you have a skill point, which you can put into one of the many skills available. Manage your skills under view your character. Alright, so that was some interesting info. Now I'm in a safe zone, and I have not actually gotten to this point. So I, may, I, I will actually be able to show you a little bit of the safe menu. So I'm going to go hit enter, and since I'm in the safe zone, I hit enter. Why isn't it letting me... East. East. All right, let's walk Leaving forward a little car. bit. Uh, let's hit enter here. Get equipment. Okay, so I can get equipment. Donate equipment. Let's donate those keys since I shouldn't need them anymore. You have zero reputation. You may not donate your axe. You may not donate your Glock 17. You may not donate your 9 mm ammo. You may not donate your Amber's car keys. What? Previous menu. You may not donate your Amber's car keys. I can't don't I thought it said I could donate Amber's car keys. Previous right, menu. Well, fine. Okay. Safe zone menu. Okay. Get equipment. Donate equipment. View your character. Let's view my character, shall you we? Have one available point to spend. Okay. Health contains zero points. There is no limit to the skill. Each point adds two health points to your character. You have one point left to spend. Press enter to assign a point here. Speed contains zero of 40 points. Each point increases the speed of your character. You have one point left to spend. Press enter to assign a point here. Health contains zero points. There is no limit to the skill. Each point adds two health oh, points okay, to your so character. Oh, okay, so there's no limit. You okay, have one so point left to spend. Press enter to assign a point here. I might do that. Speed contains zero of 40 points. Each so point that increases the speed, speed of your character. Out at 40. You have one point left to spend. Press enter to assign a point here. Recovery contains zero points. There is no limit to the skill. Adds one point of healing to every med kit you use on yourself. You have one point left to spend. Mm, that could Press be handy to assign too. A point here. Sneaking contains zero of 50 points. Each point quiets the footsteps of your character, making it harder for zombies to hear you. The sneak skill also reduces your chances of gaining bloody clothes after injuries. You have one point hmm. left to spend. Press enter okay. to assign a point here. Scavenger contains zero of 50 points. When selling mission or decorative items to safe zones, each point of the skill gives you 15 additional reputation. You have one point left to spend. Press enter to assign a point here. Okay. Elusive contains zero of 50 points. Learn to cover your tracks. Each point makes you harder to follow, causing zombies to give up chasing you sooner. You have one point ah. left to spend. Press enter to assign a point here. Okay. Big kit contains zero points. There is no limit to the skill. Each five points put into the skill allows your field kit to hold one extra med kit. More time spent oh, healing, nice. less time spent reloading. You have one point left to spend. Press enter to assign a point I'm here. just going through each one of these skills because I haven't actually seen these either. I read a little bit about them in the, the uh, electronic manual, but that's about it. Melee mastery contains zero points. There is no limit to the skill. Each point adds 5% to the damage of any melee weapon except the riot shield and ballistic shield. Bayonets for the M16 and Alaska 47 are boosted by 5%. The riot nice. shield and ballistic shield both receive a 5% boost to their stun. You have one point left to spend. Press enter to assign a point here. Well, there you go. That gives you some idea. You got some riot shield, you got some bayonets, and you got, yeah, all kinds of cool weaponry, it sounds like. So, like I said, remember when I was doing the uh, Psycho Strike, I said, well, this is cool, but it's a little straightforward. Um... <laughs> if you are interested in a deep experience, um, you know, I would say semi-comparable to, you know, these survivalist sort of games that everybody else is playing, this is not a bad bet. And really, I mean, for pff, the game is free to place for the single player portion. And it's, I, I want to say it's between two and three dollars a month, which you know, pays for, obviously somebody's got to host it. So the developers or the guy, he's hosting a server somewhere that people can connect to. You can, you know, register your username and whatnot. And, um, yeah, I mean, the, like I said, I haven't even got into the multiplayer, but just hearing some of these options in the menus are like, oh, okay, well, we've got this type of weapon, this type of armor, this type of armor. You've got, um, all kinds of other stuff going on. You've got people, you've got um, missions, you can pick up loot, which I haven't really shown you yet, but basically you hear ba another sound effect, a type of sound effect, and then you, if you walk over it, boom, you pick up some sort of random item. It could be ammo, it could be... Uh, and there are different types of ammo for the different weapons that you have, so you have to kind of manage that. 
So there's, there is a lot of depth here. If you really want to sink your, you know, you want to sink your teeth into a game that's going to actually, you know, like I said, be comparable to, uh, you know, and it's accessible, you know, to something that everyone else is playing, I think you'll get a lot of playtime. And like I said, if, if I wasn't trying to play a whole bunch of other games, I would strongly consider doing this more. And I still might look into it down the line, but like I said, I'm trying to cover all, a whole bunch of other, uh, play, just play games for myself, um, you know, both accessible and mainstream. Um, and I want to keep covering different types of content for the channel, so I don't know how much more I'm really going to be able to sink into this, but it's definitely, like I said, something I could definitely foresee myself checking into more. And like I said, if you're looking for an accessible game that with some depth, Give this one a shot, because it looks pretty darn promising. Brawler contains zero of 100 points. Each point gives a 1% So I'm going to leave the rest of that to the mystery strike. for you. I'm going to hit default, escape and critical hold. critical strike deals 50% extra damage. You have one point left to spend. Press enter to assign a point here. Safe zone menu. Okay, safe zone menu. Let's see. Equipment. Let's just see what equipment we can buy. You have zero reputation. Okay, so it won't even let me because I don't have any rep. Okay, so reputation seems to be like your money or currency in this game. By doing quests and collecting certain things and selling, uh, you know, or donating goods to the safe safe house, you're going to get respect. Previous menu. Uh, uh-oh. Safe zone menu. Get equipment. Donate equipment. View your character. Change your armor. Further reading. Radio. Commands. Radio. Commands. Return to the game. All right, so let's really quickly, let's Defensive check out room. the safe room a little bit. And then I will end the video. I know I didn't go super, I, I mean, I played for a long time, but I really didn't go into super depth here just because, like I said, there's so much to this. I have not touched online because I haven't even registered makeshift it yet. Makeshift Beds and Survivors. All right, Makeshift Beds and Survivors, okay. So I got sort of a bedroom here. I'm just kind of scoping things out here. Defensive room. Ow. Let's go see. I wonder if I can actually interact with any of the Leaving defensive room. NPCs defensive that are room. shooting. Leaving defensive room. Where's my car? When you build enough reputation, ah! you can control, you will be able to Shit! join the Create Warehouse mission. Ow! Ow! For a larger Ow! Ow! Reputation and experience points are I was outside of the thing. The you just mauled me. No cost and offer no reward. Leaving in front of Ow! the safe zone. Cannot attack in safe zone. Axe equipped. Cannot attack in safe zone. Would you... I thought when I walked out there, I, ow, I just got mauled. 2% health. You are not wearing any armor. 53 health. Yeah, that's that smooth, guy. Because I went out there, and I saw the enemy. I heard him right in front of me, and then I saw the little dot, the red dot. But it still counted me as in the safe house, so I really couldn't Storage attack. And supplies. That is a bunch of crap, Even if you ask me. I wonder if I can actually... Ow. Storage Let's and see if, All right, we got a generator, sounds like. Somewhere. Ow. Leaving storage and supplies. Let's go outside again and see if I can get mauled. See if it'll let me actually attack. In front of the safe Come zone. here, buddy. Leaving in front of the safe zone. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I hear zombies. I hear steps. Let's see if I can get just brutally murdered. I'll just go until I die here. Because I have no idea what's going on out here. I want to see if I can find some treasure. Hell yeah. All right, somebody's got a machine gun over there, I hear. I wonder if that's one of the guards. Where is a guard? I want to see... Oh, hey, bud. How you doing? Can I have you follow me? Over to me. Entrance of the safe zone. So I'm taking... I'm guessing that's one of my protector dudes that's gonna protect the safe zone, that little circle there. Because the red ones are enemies. All right, I hear... Uh, I have no idea where I'm going, you guys. Not at all. Other than I'm going to probably get massacred. Okay, we got water. Ah! Alright. Man, I wish that... It seems like none of these... Uh, none of these corpses... You know, in, in a good, regular mainstream game, you kill a zombie or whatever, you, you can loot their corpse. Uh, I think if I remember right, if you find, and there are some dead bodies, and you'll hear basically flies buzzing, and that indicates that there are 
things that you can loot. It's like a body or something. Hey, buddy. Ah. Uh. You sound like you're in front of me, but where are you? See, I can't tell. Uh, oh. Okay. Alright. Killed somebody. Somebody's over to the left. Buddy, where are you? Come on. Alright, so... I wonder if I can swim. I hear somebody. Huh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, you take care of him for me. Cool. I want to find loot. There's got to be some loot out here somewhere. And if, as I'm walking, if the video looks choppy, like it's going chop, 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 it's not like fluid, that is not the video. That is the actual game, because I think you're going by, like, set little chunks, like as part of that grid they were talking about in that first area. Uh-oh. Ow, ow, ow. That hurt. Okay, I hear a lot of zombies here. 58. 4% right, armor. No armor. Bring it on, buddy. I don't need no stinking armor. Come on. Oh, man. I just hear tons of dudes. I'm going to get my ass kicked, you guys. It's going to be great. Where are ya? Let's find some loot here. Oh, man. I have no idea where I am at all. I'm just running in some random direction. Leaving behind the Kymart. Oh, the Kymart? Okay. Oh god. That's refreshing. Okay. Now let's go into the. I want to find the Behind the Kymart. Leaving behind the Kymart. Uh, let's go to the left. Behind the Kymart. Leaving behind the Kymart. Behind the Kymart. Kymart. I know it's supposed to be like Kmart, but I wonder if it's Kmart. Leaving behind the Kmart. See, we can behind go in the here. Kmart. Back door. Aha, Leaving okay. Back door. Cool. We got a store. Let's rob this place. See if we can get some loot. Frozen food aisle. Yeah, here we go. Now we're talking. Leaving frozen food aisle. I'll take a pizza and some other stuff. Medication uh, aisle. Leaving ooh. medication aisle. But there's no loot, though. There's no. That's great, except I mean, you must have to be in a actual mission <coughs> for deli it to meat. actually trigger. Leaving deli meats. Deli meats. Deli meat. Okay. Deli kitchen. Deli kitchen. All right. It's a big ass deli kitchen. Deli freezer. All right. Nice deli freezer. Yeah, I can definitely see where like you'll go to the safe room and you'll get different missions and stuff. I can see where, yeah, and then you go find the different, you know, so like I said, if I, let's say if I do sh oh shit, I wasn't paying any attention, sure, the moment I take my hand off the mouse, I get mobbed by a creature, I was, what I was going to do, is if I hit shift in the number keys, Tracking gas station, go northwest 154 tiles, alright, let's see what two is, Tracking auto mart, go west 115 tiles, Track and Kai Mart, go southwest 38 tiles. Alright, so I'm in the Kai Mart. Track and Pet Store, go south 94 tiles. Okay. Track and Hardware Store, go southeast 107 Ooh. tiles. Track and Bridge, go southeast 142 tiles. Track and Sam's House, go southeast 187 tiles. Track and Lily's House, go southeast 224 tiles. Track and Jennifer's House, go southeast 246 tiles. Track and Church, go east 192 tiles. Track and Factory, go east 213 tiles. Track and Destroy Business, go southwest 166 huh. tiles. Alright. Off. All right, so we're not going to track anything right now. So I won't hear any beeping, like for the, especially for the ones that say like you know a hundred and some tiles. I even won't hear kitchen. any beeping until I'm actually close to it. So even though I had red tracking racks. on, that's why you didn't hear anything. Even but uh, so, ooh, yummy! I could go for some bread, some nice baked section. bread, produce. All right. Even so this seems to be like a grocery store more than anything. It's more. I thought it was like a department store, but it I seems won. to be more like a... Uh, ah! Jeebus! Okay, hi, how you doing? <laughs> well, you know what? Um, but yeah, I mean, so you Leaving get to I see, won. like, some of the, th this main map, I don't know if there are multiple ones besides this. Once you go into multiplayer, like, or if you go to a certain mission, maybe you have to go to, you know, a car 
again and then it loads a whole other map i don't know you know but potentially there could be a lot even a lot more depth and a lot more content here so you know like i said once you start getting online i still don't even pretend to understand the whole um person system like the whole tracking players or npcs or actual human players or how to communicate or anything like that i'm just kind of putzing around with the general single player navigation stuff and there's a lot even there to get used to so yeah um could be potentially overwhelming especially somebody who is really new to computers and wants to dive into a kind of a cool sounding game um, but, it, you know, if you're used to the keyboard and you want to, you know, like I said, get something that's got some more depth to it, it looks like you're going to get that quite a bit in this. Uh, it's called Swamp. It is available for PC. Uh, it is available now, and I downloaded the game for free. But that's only going to get you the single player content if you want to go online you're going to have to go to the developer's actual website register for an account and then and now we're back outside so um you know and it's like i said a couple of dollars a month which, like i said uh, especially you know as a blind or vision impaired gamer if you're not playing the mainstream games if you can't see if you can't see well enough to play them, you know, and you and you and you have to play, you know, a, an accessible game, I would say I would highly recommend this because, um, like I said, there's a lot of depth here, and uh, it's something that I could definitely see, you know, partying up and you know, getting together with a couple people and trying to complete some quests and different things. Uh, I'd be interested to see where this game would go. Now, one thing that I would like to see, uh, I downloaded a few days ago, and since then even, I think I saw, I don't even remember where I saw it, but there, I think there was an, actually another update that came out for this game. Leaving one thing I would love to see, especially since I've gotten so used to Steam and Windows and all this other stuff, I wish the game client had its, uh, you know, there's its own installer, or its own uh, file that you run. But I wish there was like a self-updater tool, like you didn't have to go out to the website and re-download files every time. So if I remember the way this works is when you download it, um, you do have to read a the beginning of the manual because if you try to run the game right away, it's not going to work. You actually have to. There's a couple files in in the directory that in the folder that you have to actually hit enter on because you need to run those files and basically register it something with the registry with windows or direct x or something so that the game will run i did that and boom started right up so um and from what i could tell with the Let's manual basically there is when you get an update you just have to replace a couple of files and stuff but i kind of wish it had its own little you know installer thing or uh I wish that there was like some auto update or utility just because like I said I've gotten so used to that. What would be really even cooler is especially since there's a lot of games that are not specifically well known, like I don't even know of all that many PC accessible games right now. It would be kind of cool to have like if audio like there's a site called audiogames.net um, it would be cool if maybe they had, or if there, if somebody developed like a very simple, accessible client where it would just go out and get the games. Like I could up and down, you know, kind of like how you would do with like NVDA add-ons. You just go into NVDA and you say, "I want this add-on," and then it kind of goes out and lot. grabs it or whatever. Or you can browse a, a directory and then it just, you know, you, you'll, you'll get updates for certain add-ons as they come out or. Kind of like a Steam for accessible games. That would be pretty awesome. And, you know, as more people are starting to recognize accessibility more, I'm kind of hoping that maybe that happens. Jeez. Oh, I just got mauled. I don't know what the heck that guy was, but he was a big in 36 36% health. Wearing any armor. And I still don't know where to get armor, so... You know what, I think we're going to leave it off here, but that at least should give you a basic idea of the concept for Swamp. Gives you 
a little bit of an idea. I didn't do a lot with the radar. I probably should have done more with the radar. Like I said, I was kind of using the my vision and this kind of rudimentary graphic system just to kind of move things along a little bit more. But if you pay attention to the audio, you can kind of hear how things are around me and stuff like that. But leaving at the aisle. Um, yeah, I hope this. Uh, you know, I hope this was interesting for you. And uh, like I said, if you're looking for an accessible game with some meat on it, <coughs> ow! I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, if you're looking for something like that, I would definitely highly recommend checking this out because at least you can check the single player out for free. See if all these keyboard commands and stuff. See if it's, uh, you know, if it's uh, interesting to you. If it's not too complicated as far as like so many keyboard commands even just for navigating the single player maps alone. But uh, yeah, that is Swamp is available for PC. Just do a search for like Swamp Audio Game or something like that. Um, if I remember right, I'll try to put a, a link to the where you can download the game in the video description below when I upload the video here. Probably tomorrow or uh, usually I'll upload it for my Wednesday, uh, usually a Wednesday video these days. So. I'll put it up for that. I'm recording this on a Monday. But, um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I was also glad to see an announcement on Twitter today that actually YouTube is finally going back on their requiring Google Plus for everything. And if you want to use a Google service, it's got to go through Google Plus. I'm so glad. Sounds like in the next, I don't know, few days to a few weeks, we're going to be starting to unlink more Google services, which means um, <clears throat> I think I explained in another video about how I was having trouble with trying to link my Google, my, uh, it wanted me to link my Google Plus page to Cat my YouTube account, lot. and I was having a problem, and I did that video on Cat how to unlink lot. it if it were to happen to you, because I was having some trouble Cat uploading some Cat videos. But I think that they're going to be undoing that soon. And thankfully, so if you guys leave a comment, I'm going to be much more able to reply and post directly into comments. I do apologize if you have left a comment or question. Maybe I'll go back and actually try to answer some of those. I thought about doing a little short video and just compiling some of the questions that you guys have posted just to kind of i'm not ignoring you but it's like i said this Cat whole google plus way. thing like it just seems so ridiculous that you need a special other account just to post uh, on a, a simple comment on a freaking Green youtube lane. video even on the tweet the story that i saw tweeted today i think i saw google some google staff member going it's freaking ridiculous that you have to do that just to post on a video so even he seems to think yeah, you know what? Maybe that was kind of our bad. Um, maybe we shouldn't have done that. So, <laughs> anywho, so that's something cool to look forward to on the channel. And maybe I'll be able to do a little bit more interaction with you guys. So, as this zombie is going to walk up and maul me to death wherever he is, we're going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. And until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.